I'm going to answer a quick question that someone had asked me on one of the videos I made. Uh, the question is, is it possible to be completely closed off from spiritual experiences? And my answer to that is yes. And there are also people that have had spiritual experiences but don't acknowledge them as spiritual experiences. They always question it. I've ran into people that have actually had spiritual experiences but questioned it. And they would say, well, maybe it was something I ate the last night or maybe it was something um, I watched on television or maybe it was something that I drank. Um, that was a coincidence. Oh, it's just a dream. You know, and there's people that have had, actually had poltergeists in their homes. They would notice that the heat would go up and down and they would spend money having someone come in to fix the heat, replace the heater, and then still have those problems or things will fall off the shelf. And then they will still give excuses for that. So there are people that block themselves from having spiritual experiences because they always question it. They always want to find a scientific answer for their experience. And science can't always answer things, especially when it's dealing with the spirit realm. Okay, so if you go to sleep, if you lay down and you have a vision and you wake up and you're like, wow, I just had a crazy dream or I had a, and in many cases, they, they're not even aware that it's a vision that they had. You know, you may see a hellhound and you would think it's because of the fact that you play video games, right? So there's people that always try to find excuse, answers or a scientific answer for spiritual things. And they never accept it as spiritual things. Um, I know this, this dude, he's a white dude, he's um, an atheist. And now he's starting to question his atheism because in his house, there was what they call a poltergeist. And because things begin to start manifesting themselves. It went beyond uh, the heater turning on by itself or the heater going off or things falling off the shelf or they're hearing noises at nighttime. Um, maybe a door opens or um, you hear what sounds like somebody's walking and they'll say like, well, that's just the floor um, releasing itself or whatever. You know you know how, you know, when the, when the floor at nighttime, when it's quiet throughout the house, you will hear like the floor just kind of creak or whatever if you're in an older house. And so he kept passing that off as something coincident. He kept trying to find answers and excuses on why he was hearing these things or experiencing these things. So what he did was he had these students come down from a university, Ghostbusters, so to speak. And so they came down from the, from the university went through his house. Um, he had spiritualists come into his house and Sage's home and uh, frankincense and myrrh trying to get these spirits out of there. And then one night, the spirit manifested itself to him and to a family member. So when you have an experience that you always passed off as science or coincident, and then this entity or being start manifesting itself to you and another family member, what excuses do you have? You know? And so after he had those experiences, um, and he still had those, those problems in his home, and now he just accepted it as we have a ghost. Whereas before, he didn't believe in ghosts. He didn't believe in spirits. You know, he didn't believe in the unseen. You know, he was... Um, an atheist and then he became an agnostic and uh, well we do believe that there's something out there but who's to say that that's really God or who's to say what it is and whatnot and let's see what science says so now he's starting to put aside all of this science nonsense okay so there are people that 
have had spiritual experiences, but yet dismiss it as being something else. So in your mind, you believe that you don't have spiritual experiences. There's people that I've told dreams and visions to, and they say, like, I've never dreamed before. Well, you have, but you just don't remember them. I mean, there's times I dream, and when I wake up, I try to remember it because there's so much information in these dreams. And when I wake up, I'll remember it for about maybe a half hour, and then I'll fall back to sleep. And when I wake up, I forget about it. And then maybe one day I might have a deja vu. Wait a minute, this happened before. And that deja vu could just very well be one of the visions or dreams that I had, one of the places that I visited and forgot about, right? So yes, it is possible for people to be blocked from having spiritual experiences because they block themselves. They, their unbelief is what stopped them from experiencing the unseen. Their unbelief of, of spirit beings or God or demons or even the unseen realm blocks them from actually having a spiritual experience. There are people that get information from their dreams where you have uh, spirit beings that may that they may encounter in their dreams that will give them certain information. And then when they wake up, they write it down, they record it. And then they would take that same information and use it and start developing things, creating things in this plane. And now they're millionaires. That information just didn't come from anywhere. Right. So to answer the question, yes, you can be blocked. But in my own personal opinion, I believe that many people are blocked because they block themselves. They hinder themselves because of their unbelief. So feedback, tell me what you think. Until next time, I'm fearless.